Hi, it's Rhonda White from HerChristianHome.com and today is day 30, our very last day for my video series, 30 Days of Gratitude. So the verse I have to share with you today is 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 11. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also ye do. Let me bring up my devotional ebook over here. And this is 30 Days of Gratitude Devotionals. You can grab free on my blog at HerChristianHome.com. That's free until the end of November, so, so come over and give me a visit. All right, so let's get right into the um, story here. When we're celebrating Thanksgiving, it's easy to say that you're thankful for your family and friends. But why not take the concept even deeper this year? Write each of your loved ones a list of 10 to 25 reasons you're grateful for them. You may want to include funny items like, I'm grateful for you willing to get lost with me in the rain. But you can also include more serious reasons like, I love the way you always listen to what I'm saying. You can also use your list to encourage your loved ones in their special gifts mm -hmm. and callings. For example, you might tell your friend who's a nurse that you're grateful for her gift of healing or that you love her empath uh, empathetic heart. Another thing you can do is bring up sweet memories together. Remind your receiver about the day you were both actually silly in the rain or the moment you both slipped on freshly waxed floor at the mall. Your list doesn't have to be long or detailed to be meaningful. Just write from the heart and let the words flow. God, thank you for the gift of my loved ones. Each list I write highlight their best qualities and encourage them on their journeys. And so um, I made a little sheet after this. I'm grateful for you. And I put some hearts there. And I remember this fun memory with you. And then I'm grateful for these qualities about you. I thought um, this might be a sheet that you can print out and use. And then the images. I have a couple of images here at the very end. Three things to give up today. Complaining, criticize, complaining criticism, negative talk. And then this image says, God's word is full of promises that cannot fail. Isn't that true? That, um, when it boils down to everything, God is our unchangeable God, and he's the one that cannot fail. And so uh, when we're going through hard times and, and trials, just keep leaning up on him. Just keep taking one more step of faith today. All right, so this concludes our 30 Days of Gratitude. I'm very excited to finally have this complete completed and I hope it has been a blessing to you. Thank you for listening. God bless you and your family today.